Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will design a modern logo by using an image. Most of you ask me to make this type of tutorial, so keep watching the video till end. I think, you learned something special from this video, and you can easily design a logo by using an image. So let's start the video. For design this type of logo, you have to download a picture, by which you want to design a logo. Today's I'm going to design a logo by a girl image. Always try to select the best photo for your design. So this is my downloaded image. I'm going to design a modern logo by using this image. First of all, I need to lock this image, so that this image stay fixed. For lock the image, go object, and select lock, and click on selection. Ok, that's good. Now this image does not move. There is two method to design over the girl image, I show two of them. So take pen tool for designing the logo. The first one is that, I do everything with pen tool first. Zoom it. And try to accurately draw on the image like that. This method is perfect who are expert at pen tool, but who are not expert at pen tool, they do not it properly. So I have almost done with the first method. Now turn on fill color. So see that, I have designed the girl face with the pen tool. There is need some modification, you can fix it by zooming. Let's try with the second method, take pen tool, and just select some point of the image like that. You need to select properly, try to always select curve edge. Ok, that's good, I have select everything of the girl head. Now take anchor point tool. Do curve the pen tool line equal to the image. I think, this method is very helpful to beginners.
If you face the problem like that, you can solve it by the handle like that. I think that's perfect now. Okay, that's good, I have done. Now give it fill color. See that, the second method vector is perfect than the first one. So I worked with the second one. So delete everything without the second vector. So take rectangular tool, and draw a rectangular like that. Give it stroke color. Now go outline mode by pressing Ctrl Y. By hold alter, copy the rectangular and place the here accurately. And copy more by hold Ctrl and pressing D. I take total 12 rectangular. Go back previous mode by pressing Ctrl Y. Now select the rectangular, and increase the stroke color. Select the vector, and turn off the fill color. I change the color of the vector, so that I can recognize when it is stay on behind of the rectangular. Now select the rectangular, and place it on the vector. and place it accurately by increasing and decreasing the rectangular size like that. Okay, that's good. Take as much as stroke color you want. I take 28 pixel. Also increase the vector stroke color equal to rectangular stroke color. Okay, that's good. Now make small the rectangular equal to the head backside like that, and make it both side curved like that. I skip one rectangular between two. You can increase or decrease these rectangular after design the full logo, so don't worry about that. I want the top line to be curve and the bottom line to be also curve. So I delete the bottom line. Now select all line, and make it equal to vector like that.
when I make equal the lines by the method. The curve is little bit spoil, so I fixed it like that. Okay, that's good. Now select everything. And go object, select path, and select outline stroke. Ok, that's fine. Now take shape builder tool, and delete like this. Carefully delete this parts. Take move tool, and select these extra parts, and delete it. Select the design, and give it only one color. I think, if I delete this part, how it look like? No, the design is not look good without this part. Now take move tool, and select the rectangular, that you want to increase or decrease. Ok, that's good. Now select the design. And go Pathfinder, and make it united. Ok, that's good. So friends, that's all our today's logo design tutorial, how is that? If you like this video, please do like and comment, also if you face any problem about the tutorial, do comment in the comment box. I will try to solve your problem in the next tutorial. Thank you.